Greetings, my rare hunters. It is I, Marek. And welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Origins. We're on the pause menu because I was trying to get to a location to start a mission. And it started playing shit and I was like, nope, wait, wait a minute. Go. Who's there? I'm armed. I will hurt you so much, the gods will sing stories of how badly, for ages. <laughs> Keep the peace, friend. I'm merely curious. There is little enough left of value. The jackals have already stripped the site clean. I read about an ancient battle between Mahes and Ochus, and wondered if it was here. This was where Mahes fought and died at the hands of Bago as the eunuch, and mentor the Rodian. You may have read my version of Ma'ani Jehuti. No? No matter. Do you know what became of Mahe's sword? The sword of Ptah? Said to be sacred both to Sekhmet and Serket? No. But as I said, this place has long been plundered. The bandits stay north of here, so I stay far away. Thank you. I'll head north. Yes, indeed, I'll head north. And we'll steal. I didn't even know that guy was there. See, I like I ran right up here on my horse, wherever the hell it went. And uh and then the cutscene started up. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. These must be the bandits the historian spoke of. I wonder where they are keeping this sort of ta. Ha! <laughs> Haven't we been to this thing before? They're keeping it in that cave. That's the cave where the hyenas and shit were. I don't even need to worry about them. See, I don't really even need to worry about these things. So weighing their heads back and forth. Ha! As if they actually plan to do anything. Forget about those, those shitty bandits. They're literally a waste of time. I think the last hyena is attacking them now. Now let's check out this great and powerful sword. And will you just take the sword? Thank you, dearest goddesses. I will use this to keep the faith. All right, so we completed that mission. Now let's look at this sword. It does look pretty sick. Um, let's go try it out. <laughs> the fool caught himself on fire. Did he just call me a shit? Oh, we just split his shit in half. What's happening? My idiot brother has barricaded himself inside. Who is it that you're speaking to? It's one of them, isn't it? No, you fool! He fears Sefetu's men, but hiding his head in a bush solves nothing. I am not an ostrich! Do I hear horses? Is it them? You better run! Please, if it does not work, Sefetu's tax collectors will do something terrible. I'm not sure I can convince him, but I will keep an eye out for these tax collectors. Perhaps I can persuade them to leave you alone. Perhaps I can c collect a tax on their lives.
the tax collector has been located. Now it's time for me to take his offering. Wait a minute. Wow. They seem to be weak to fire. Really, he's still alive? I was kind of hoping the fire would just, like, end his life, really. Go ahead, I don't give a shit. Call all of these fools here. See, like that. Like, he just, ow, shit. Damn! Giant arrow to the face! <laughs> Can I get one of these to go? Son of a bitch! I was having fun, you stupid asshole! There's a dead body here. Oh, look, there's the guy that killed him. Well, that was easy. Alright, now that we're done killing people, hello. Not you again! You found the naked edits. Indeed. One group patrols the waters, another sits in wait in the armory, seizing whoever they wish. The final man proclaims loudly against us in a chariot along the Canopic Way. Once rid of them... Your poets can spread their good word throughout the entire city. We will deal with these Falakitai. Falakitai in the eye! Find and kill the soldiers, my guy. One. Two.
Okay, so we seem to have gotten a little in over our head. Whoa! And my batteries are low. Excellent! That's just what I like to hear when I'm in the middle of a heated fight with a bunch of big ass... Hey, my guy. Bayek, you have returned. Is it done? Are the streets free for the Alexandrian poets to spread our revolution? I have dealt with all of Gennadios Velakitai, Thanos. Bayek, you are a poet of the kill. Fill the city with your words. I love you, Bayek of Siwa. You will be remembered more than any Magi in history. Poet of the kill? How about time to help one more person today? What do you want? Oh, the gods shame me, Neb. The Tanner is my husband. He carries that stench home whenever he returns from camp. Is he here now? By the smell, you would think so. But it's worse when he's around. Do not let it trouble you. We all must do work we do not relish. You are right. My husband works hard but cannot keep up with the demand for his services. The Magi are said to be legendary hunters. If you would like to earn some good coin, go and see him. I'm sure he could use your help. Hmm. I will consider it. Where would I find him? His hunting camp is north and west of Sao. He will be tanning hides for a few days. If only there was some way for him to deal with the street. Hello, I'm help I'm here to help you deal with the stink. Is the stink this big ass Karak? Did he die? Shit, I'm on fire! My thanks, traveler. I did not expect the gods to send help my way this day. I was afraid that beast wanted to eat me in revenge for my craft. What brings you this way? Your wife and Sao told me you might need a hunter. Yes, yes. Too much demand and not enough supply. I would be more than happy to pay you good coin for the hides I need, and for you to risk their teeth. I am listening. I need hyena ears, crocodile eggs, and vulture skulls. What do you do with vulture skulls? Many priestesses of Iset used them for headdresses. They farewell. Great. It's an ancient Egyptian scavenger hunt.
Alright, I have your creepy death souvenirs. Well now, what do you have for me? All that you asked for. Ah, yes, good, good. And in fine condition. They will do nicely. Your pay. Alright, got it, we got paid. Not a lot, but, you know. At least we got something. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. If you guys enjoyed uh, watching all the slaughter, all the killings, and, uh, you know, us trying to get back to the community, help people out, do the right thing, be a human being, there's not a lot of that that, you know, happens in our time. So we could, you know, try and make it happen a little more often in the past. Um... But we're going to go ahead and get the freak out of here, though. And we'll see you guys in the next episode.